I thought uh, Stonehill again, um, you know, showed why they won the conference tournament last year and, and why they were competing at the top of the, t of the league a year ago. Um, they've got a lot of fight. They're very well coached, um, and uh, you know, their their athleticism, uh, their desire, um, all of that amounts to a good combative team that um, gives anybody uh, trouble. So we're we're really really uh, pleased to um, come away with the one nothing victory. Uh, you, you guys scored 227 of the game. Seemed like it could have been another one of your runaway, you know, three nothing home home victories. Um, but they kind of stepped it up and stayed with it. Is it was it a case of maybe once you guys scored, you kind of got comfortable? Something you talked about at halftime, or was it just a matter of them? They just kind of got it together quickly. I thought, um, you know, I thought for the first half we certainly created uh, opportunities to go up uh, another goal, um, but. You know, they um, they outworked us in the second half. They were more energetic. Um, you know, and, and obviously when they're chasing the game, uh, they've got more incentive to sort of throw numbers forward, and, and we had a hard time dealing with that. Uh, another shutout here at home. Uh, 450 scoreless minutes this year. Some, you know, I thought they had a couple dangerous chances uh, in the in the second half that if they just got a foot on something, would have gone in. Sometimes. Better, better to have luck on your side here too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you rely on on luck to, to score some goals, and you rely on luck to keep the goals out of your own net as well. Um, and again, you know, they, they presented some, uh, you know, some some difficult sort of matchups. And um, you know, we la we lacked we lacked concentration in, in key spots. And um, lucky for us, we didn't get punished. Uh, but obviously, we'll need to go back and and look at the tape and make sure that uh, we're aware of. Uh, those moments when they come about uh, for future reference, so that um, you know we're not we're not um, doing any harm uh, or, or letting teams punish us for our mistakes. Really, uh, we talked about it last match here uh, during the week. Trisha Lewis another goal, but uh, Rihanna Romano picking up her first assist just via insert in the corner. But um, you insert her into the starting lineup the last week or so, and then obviously think enough of her to to take those um, corner kicks. You know, just talk a little bit about about her game. Um, she's got great technique, um, and, and she can serve a ball. Uh, I wouldn't say on a dime, but she, you know she's fairly accurate with her passes. Um, and so, you know, it just made sense to sort of get her involved um, to keep us uh, with you know people uh, who, are, who are comfortable winning the ball in the air, challenging the ball in the air in the box. Uh, and you know, Rihanna put some great services in, and, and uh, again, we were able to capitalize on that, which is which is great for us. Uh, we mentioned 450 scoreless minutes at home, but 357.40 um, on the season now straight. I say that because now you go on the road, not back home here until October 14th. You know, does the mindset change at all, or do you guys just keep keep doing what you're doing on the road? No, we, we just you know we just have to understand um, what the opponent's trying to do, um, and we've got to have more energy uh, when in transition um, when we're trying to win the ball back. And at times, I thought that was a little bit slow. Um, and that created the openings for the opposition today. And um, again, if we want to talk about competing uh, with the best, among the best, uh, among the top of the league, we, ha we just have to be more aware um, of, of those key moments in games and, and just do a better job. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.